Hi, and welcome to QRS tutorial, Clients Dashboard Invoices. We've added invoicing system internally into our Credit HomeWatch software, and we're excited to show you how this is all going to work for you. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, when you open up your dashboard, you're going to see a new tab that says Invoices, and you simply click on the drop-down menu and choose My Invoices. Now you're going to see any invoices that your uh, service provider has sent to you. Uh, and here you see that we have two types of invoices, postpaid and prepaid. Um, first, I'm going to show you how a prepaid invoice works. So you simply click on the invoice number. And when the invoice comes up, you'll notice your name here, your address, the invoice number, uh, what type it is, either a post or prepaid when it was created, what date it was sent on, date it was issued on, and the due date. Next you'll see any line items. So on this particular invoice, this was your, the client is being billed for a home watch. The rate is $55 per visit. The quantity was one. There was a tax and the total is $62.15 and here you will see that the subtotal it breaks it down to show how much the tax was and it looks like that this client has paid to date $25 there's a balance owing and if you scroll down you'll see the terms these are the terms that come with the invoice and any special notes that uh, your service provider wants to add you'll see here and down below you can see the payment a record of the payment on the date it was the 3rd of April the amount of payment was $25 and the check was uh, number 357. So that's how a post paid invoice works. Now I'd like to show you how uh, a prepaid invoice. So a lot of times your service provider will have send you an invoice. For example, if you're a home watch client or a cleaning client, they will send you an invoice and say, okay, you can prepay for 12 uh, home watch visits or 12 cleans and for you you want to be able to keep track each time they do a clean or each time they do a home watch to know what your balance is and know what your credit value is what we've done is we've got prepaid invoices and we'll show you this invoice this is a prepaid invoice so what what this invoice is telling you is that you uh, have paid for 12 prepaid home watches. The rate was $45. The quantity is 12. And there's two taxes on it. And it was a prepaid invoice. It was, it was the due date was 5th of May for payment. But you've already prepaid for this. So you'll see a subtotal. You'll see the taxes. And you'll see the invoice total. But you'll also see that paid to date. Now this doesn't mean that you've paid $108. What this means is they've credited your invoice. So you have a balance of $544. So also you prepaid for $12, but you'll notice that the balance is $10 here. Again, you'll see the terms and notes. Now you can come down here and each time that your service provider submits a report to you, he can then credit that balance that you've prepaid, showing that you have in this invoice, you have paid a balance of $653.40, and up front, now they've done two home watches, and you can now simply reference the, in, the report that was sent to show that, that they've credited. So what they've done is they've gone out and done a home watch, and they've sent you a report, and now they said, okay, we have 12 home watches to do, We've now credited you one, and here's the report to prove that we were there. If we go back to the invoice, uh, you'll notice that there's two, and so if you add up the balance, this means over here that you have 10 home watches left, and you have a balance of $544. And each time they add another report as a credit, this balance will go down, and this number will go down till eventually it's at zero, and the balance is at zero. You'll notice that the amount of the credit is showing with tax.
So if there was any tax applied up here, it, it automatically calculates it. So at any time, you can go to your invoice and see how many home watches you have left and how many they've credited to you and the balance that you've prepaid. So as, again, as they send reports, this balance will go down to zero and this will go down to zero as well. So next we're going to show you how you can save a report as a PDF. So you simply click on save as a PDF and now you'll get a paper copy that you can print or you can save to your computer. Next we're going to show you how to print. You just simply click on the print button. It'll pull up a screen similar to this on your computer. It might be a little bit different and you just simply click the print button and you'll receive a, a, a paper copy in your printer. So we hope this tutorial has been useful for you all about invoices and how the new system has been implemented and how it benefits you. And if you get a chance, thank your service provider for uh, choosing Credit Home Watch as their uh, method to report to you, keep you informed, and prove that they've been to your property.